Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel and today I'm going to be building the hot air balloon of my dr Okay, it's gone. So instruments of destruction has had some recent updates that have brought new parts and one of them is the balloon which uh, as you can see as it inflates it creates lift and it creates very very strong lift in this sample this demo vehicle that I've showed you but there's a whole bunch of new parts that have been added to the game actually some of the highlights include arc pieces that have three different sizes that's actually pretty cool we've also got rollers can probably create some steamrollers with this stuff. We got a small one and we got a massive one like that. So yeah, there's even more that's part of the update, but I'm really gonna be focused on the balloons and something else that I've wanted to try and experiment with, but haven't uh, gotten around to it yet, the magnet. I have not used magnets yet in this game. And there's another thing, the steel orb, which is apparently unattached. So if I put steel orbs like this on my creation, I don't know what kind of creation this is, but I think when I spawn in, they just fall to the ground. Yep. So now I don't know what my magnet can, is this my magnet? Oh yeah, yeah, so look at that. So look at these steel orbs. And then I think I can reverse the polarity of the magnet. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna affect me a lot too. Okay, this is gonna be really interesting. My my idea was, I don't know if it's gonna work anymore after seeing that. I wanna have a hot air balloon with a magnet on the bottom and then a whole bunch of steel balls that are just going to lift up in the air with the magnet. And then I want to hover over the buildings and then expel the steel balls down to the buildings, just kind of like a giant magnet shrapnel hot air balloon. This probably is going to be a lot more complicated than it sounds in my head. And it's already kind of complicated in my head. You know, I was just about to reset this vehicle, but what's kind of funny is this actually is starting to look like something. Like here, if I just put one of these and a magnet magnet here. This is starting to look like a really cool spaceship, isn't it? All right, but this has nothing to do with the design that I actually want to build, so let's reset. All right, so this is going to be a really interesting build. I am going to try to utilize a lot of the new parts here. Is this going to... This does not look like the weight is going to be centered. Can I move this cab? All right, that looks a little bit better. I added one of these new, the six-way mini right here. That's actually a pretty cool block. All right, so I want this thing to be able to hang down level underneath a balloon or balloons, however many balloons we're going to need to uh, hold this thing up. All right, so I'm going to have a central attachment point right here above the cab, and then I'm going to want to actually attach the balloons with rope and I'll use a six-way connector right here and now I'm curious what it's like if I have the balloons out like this I mean this is probably overkill on the number of balloons I think I can set them all to slider yeah there we go and this is gonna allow us to fine-tune how much air the balloons are actually going to have in them all right let's see how this feels all right that should oh it actually I should probably make this a more flexible uh, cable all right Oh boy, okay, no, 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 not that much, not that much down. Oh boy, this is really sensitive. Oh, that's good right there. That is so good, we're just floating there. All right, that is promising. I like this so far a lot, but this does kind of look weird with the balloons like that. I don't know if I like that yet. You know, I might be able to build this thing light enough to get away with one balloon. I can adjust the strength and I can always attach an overdrive to it to increase its uh, effectiveness. All right, here's just one balloon. And this one balloon at strength three is way more than enough to lift this thing. Look at that. Oh boy, this is... <laughs> I just love how it just levels off. All right, this is really good. You know, we need some like altitude sensors at some point in this game so we can have things automatically control like how high it's gonna fly and stuff. This has a lot of potential. This is so good. All right, let me change out this cable for something more flexible and see how that feels. All right, I'm gonna go with heavy rope. Let's see how rope feels compared to cable. All right, well, it definitely lets it fall over. So that's kind of what I was expecting with the cable. And then of course, maybe the cable is just better. Yeah, the cable might actually be better. I like the cable performance a lot better, so let's do it. Let's go with that. But I'm sorry, just for pure experiment's sake, I'm going with the stretchiest of the uh, of the cable options, the stretchy base. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it really is stretchy. They were not. What? I was not expecting this. Where did you go? Holy cow! This is amazing. It goes higher. Am I lifting off the ground at all? This just, oh, I am lifting off the ground now. This is amazing. The cable physics are awesome in this. All right, I'm lowering the balloon now. Is this going to contract? Oh my goodness, that is so good. 
All right, but that is completely not what we need to do right here. I'm going back to the cable. That was just a fun experiment. Okay, so now if I just attach a bunch of magnets to the bottom of this thing, and then I'm only going to use four steel orbs right now because that's all I really have room for connections. I want to I want to use a lot more steel orbs potentially in the future, but let's just see how this feels. All right, so if I bring the orbs in, they're not really, they're not underneath me yet. All right, I'll drop them, then I'll bring them in. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now the interesting thing is gonna be controlling the altitude while dealing with, cause like, all right, yeah, this is gonna affect my weight. Cause when I let go of them, I start going up. Look, oh, and it brings me down to them. What if I expel them? Oh no. <laughs> This idea is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness, what? Oh, the steel orbs weigh a thousand kilograms each? What is my total weight? My vehicle mass is 15,000 kilograms. In order to make these steel orbs not have a huge impact on me, I'm going to have to make this thing way heavier than the steel orbs themselves. All right, so as far as I'm aware, one of the heaviest things in the game is the heavy foot. It is 1,250 kilograms. I'm gonna just load up the inside with these things. We just really need to increase our weight. We're only at 17,000 kilograms right now. All right, I am now 42,000 kilograms. Let's see if this balloon can even lift ourselves up. I've also adjusted the magnets so that they're kind of creating this cone shape, which is kind of cool. All right, here we go. Activate balloon. Not looking good. Okay, so we're gonna have to increase the strength of this balloon, which should be easy enough just by putting an overdrive on it. Oh, maybe I was wrong. This balloon doesn't seem to be affected by the overdrive. I don't see the overdrive indicator here. Hold on a second. That may have just been an oversight in the uh, addition of the balloons. Yeah, the balloon strength doesn't appear to be affected by overdrive, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna have to add more balloons. All right, so here's my strategy for this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cables and I'm going to put them up like this. And then I'm just gonna attach four balloons to this thing. So hopefully they'll all go up next to each other, kind of just like a bundle of balloons. Let's see how this works. Oh boy, this, oh no. Okay, no, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and activate. Oh boy, I set them on toggle. Okay, they're strong enough. <laughs> I forgot, I gotta put them back to slider. All right, take two. Now let's see what happens here. I'm a little bit disappointed that we fall over, but the balloon should help to right ourselves. I just realized I have no controls on this thing other than up and down. Okay, so now as we go up, all right, that actually works. That works well. All right, now let's see how the magnets affect us. Magnet on. Now you see that? That was way less of an impact because of how much more we weigh and expel. That's still rough. Oh my, we, I think I heard, oh, we did some damage. All right, yeah, it's gonna be super tough to control this thing. Or maybe I should just drop them instead of expelling them. Here, let's do another experiment with them. All right, bring them up. Yeah, see, that works really, really well when I do that. And then if I drop them, all right, I could bring them up again. All right, and then expelling them though, yeah, expelling them just shoots me up into the air. All right, before I get any further, I need to be able to control this thing in the air. Right now, it has no actual air controls. Let's create something that can fly around. Experiment with that. I think thrusters are probably going to be good for that. I mean, I don't really have any other option, do I? But I think these thrusters kind of have a slow buildup for, um, for the force, so it might be kind of difficult. So if this is just W to go forward, Let's see how this feels when we're up in the air. That's good enough. All right, now if I go forward, oh my goodness, that actually works out pretty well. All right, now I just need to be able to turn and I'm pretty much good. As long as I can turn, I'll be good. And what I'm thinking, I might need to extend some of this down a little bit, but what if I have a reaction wheel? All right, you know what? These new rollers are kind of perfect for this. All right, let's see if this reaction wheel works to uh, turn ourselves. We get up in the air, turn to the left. It's working. It is not as strong as I was expecting. You know what? How much do these weigh? 800 kilograms? If that's the case, I need more mass on that. So it's probably just better to put that there and then add a bunch of those really heavy feet just like that. That's going to create a much heavier reaction wheel. So let's see how that feels now. That should be much, uh, a much stronger effect, much more agility in the turning. All right. Ready? Left. Hmm. You know what, can I put another one right here just to add to it? Turn left. 
All right, I mean, it's all right. It's definitely not great. It takes a lot to counteract all of that momentum because of how massive we are as far as weight goes. But you know, it's a hot air balloon. How much control do you really expect out of a hot air balloon? I mean, at least with this, we can control ourselves. And I definitely need to give myself some reverse. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about this, are thrusters actually a better option? You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see how it does. All right, I've added some thrusters. Oh my goodness, thrusters are actually way, way better. But I feel like strafe is kind of necessary, so I'm just gonna add some strafing thrusters in here. We're gonna have all kinds of control on this thing. This is gonna be a cool looking thing. All right, check it out. I think I have my first official fully controllable aerial vehicle in this game. So now I can go strafe left, strafe right. I'm actually really surprised at how fast the reaction time is on these thrusters. I can turn left and right. I need an indicator as to where forward is. Because then I can go forward, and then I can also reverse, just like that. So, full control over this thing. It's not the easiest thing to control. And now I can activate magnets. Let's go over and pick up these, uh, these metal balls again. They'll get attracted to the- there we go. Oh my god. Okay, that is not how that's supposed to go. <laughs> okay, release them. Release the metal balls. Um, they're stuck. These ones are actually- oh, there we go. Now they're not stuck anymore. Alright, come back. There we go. All right, where's the other one? The other one got dropped way over there. I'm really gonna have to figure out a system to figure out where forward is. All right, come here, little man. No. <laughs> All right, picking up the metal balls is a bit of a logistics issue. Okay, so now <laughs> this thing is not easy to control. All right, let's just fly over to the building and release the metal balls, right? Oh, I'm just gonna fly into the building. Okay, I forgot the button to release the metal balls. It's fine, though. All right, here is a follow camera, but can I zoom out? Yeah, here we go. All right, now I don't have to think about forward that much because it follows my uh, where I'm looking. All right, are you ready for our first demolition test? In three, two, one, expel! Ooh! 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 <gasps> I wasn't expect- what? It's still going! I- alright, ready? Now we bring the balls back. They come back out through the building. Oh my god, I was not expecting that much of a success on the first test. We demolished that thing from like, the center, top down. Um, do I only have one ball right now? Oh, there it goes. I don't have any anymore. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, I just thought of a terrible idea. It all depends on if there is a metal object that is magnetized that I can attach to my creation. All right, I have to find out if wrecking balls are magnetic. I feel like they're not going to be. My idea here is to attach the wrecking balls to a rope. That way I can get them back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a bungee as well, but I'm doing a rope at first just so it's a little bit more uh, controllable. But let's see, do the magnets have any impact on these things? Magnet on. Oh, no. I'm a Pokemon right now. This is totally like Drifloon or something. <laughs> it even has like eyes on it. I just made a Pokemon. All right, well, that's really unfortunate. I don't think I can attach something metal. Whoa, I got an idea. What if I contain the steel orbs in something? What, do you think they'll glitch through and fly out if I use the magnets or will it actually... <gasps> Oh boy. Oh, I am excited to try this now. All right, how, what is the easiest way to contain a steel orb? Oh man, I really hope that this works. Do you see what I'm doing here right now? I hope that that stays in there. All right, it hasn't fallen out yet. Let's get up in the air. I am so excited for, I really hope that this works as I think it's going to work or as I hope it's going to work. All right, ready, activate magnet. Oh, it broke! Oh, okay, 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 okay. What if we have more stretchy rope, though? We can change out this rope for more stretchy rope. This is potentially gonna be amazing. All right, let's do bungee. I can, I can reinforce them. Hold on. Strength. Yes, node spacing, smoothness, tension, stability. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff, but attached strength is matched out. So let's just, let's just hope that that's gonna be good enough to keep these things from uh, bursting off of the creation. Whoa, oh, these are these are causing some massive yaw issues, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, ready? Attract. All right, I should have got rid of those other ones. All right, let's look down. Oh, yes, and now they didn't break, and now I can bring them back, so I can, like, do this. Oh! <gasps> 
This is exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, but I need them... I need them to be attached closer to the center. I can actually wrap the cables around themselves. Oh boy, this is disorienting. Hold on. Man, there's so many cool physics effects with this game that you just don't really get in a lot of other games. All right, this is just look at the, just look at this thing. This is some crazy octopus style. Like, I don't even know what to describe this thing as. Okay, um, activate magnets. All right, those are a lot heavier now, so they do affect me a lot more. But I gotta get rid of those extra, extra metal balls. All right, extend them down. Oh, yes. See? And then I can bring them right back. And we can just do this to destroy buildings below us. This is gonna be amazing. This is probably the most unique thing I've ever created in this game. Okay, I think we are ready. And I'm just going for it. Here we go. Ooh, right through the top. A little bit of an accuracy issue. Some of them went off to the sides and didn't really hit the building itself. But overall, some decent destruction for our first attempt. And that's what, that's the great thing about this is I have essentially unlimited attempts now. Oh, that one went right down into the middle. Oh, we got like kind of a shotgun effect. I could just keep going back and forth now with these. Oh boy. See, that's why the balloons are so good. Doesn't matter how much I'm tilting, the balloons are always going to keep my center of lift right above it. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Go up, go up, balloons, go up. There we go. Straight to the right. I think I went too high that time. Nope, still got a little bit of damage down there. All right, let's go down a little bit. There we go. That was a good hit. All right, let's move on to this uh, fresh building off to the side here. And... Ooh. Ooh, that was more of a slow but effective just falling right through all of the floors. It depends on how close you are. How much velocity do they pick up before they end up hitting the top of the building? Like, this will be a little bit more of an impact. Oh! Oh, that was great. I wish I could watch this from a third person view, but it'd be impossible to control. All right, let's try, let's try this tower over here. I'm just gonna rush at it and... Okay, towers are a little bit, they're gonna be a little bit harder. All right, I have an idea for this tower. I'm just gonna let them hang down like this as I fly over it. And then once I get to the other side, while the balls are still falling behind, I'm just gonna magnetize them back up to me and it should go right through the tower, I think. Oh, whoops, they all went like right. Okay, there we go. That was kind of almost what I was in intending, but I wanted more of them to go through. All right, this is a little bit harder to control than I thought, especially with these things swinging around. All right, ready? Magnetize them to me, bring them through the tower. That's what I wanted to do. That was awesome right there. All right, let's turn the magnets off, let everything fall down. All right, same thing with this one. Just drag them into the tower. Once they get in, magnetize them and just pull them through the tower. That is another great strategy for this thing. Instead of just shooting them down at the tower, just let them go in the bottom floor and then drag them up through the tower. All right, here we go again. And bring them to me. That was pretty good. That was actually exactly what I wanted to happen. All right, and then we just have this one building that is untouched right here, which I'm just gonna do the classic style, just, just like that. There we go, bring them back up to me. This is amazing. I am so glad I was able to figure out how to keep these magnetic balls attached to the creation so I could keep reusing them. All right, this has to be my favorite creation I've made in this game by far. Can I even land myself in this thing? I probably can. Let's see what happens. Look at this. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> and we are completely deflated. So what did you guys think of my bungee wrecking ball hot air balloon concept? Just saying that sounds crazy. If you have any other crazy destruction ideas you'd like me to try out in this game, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some other instruments of a destruction episodes that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.